Although it is not anywhere close to the upcoming hurricane season, which of course begins on June 1st, we are starting to get geared up for the forthcoming hurricane season and the National Hurricane Center is making a change to how things will be reported later on during the season. This is what's coming new from the Hurricane Center. And uh, if you don't really know what's new, I don't blame you. It's a very small change that the Hurricane Center is going to be testing out starting right around April 15th, whenever the National Hurricane Center puts out their forecast cone and forgive the low resolution image here, instead of just showing coastal watches and warnings for tropical storms and hurricanes, now this forecast cone is going to show inland tropical storm hurricane watches and warnings. This is a graphic from 2022's Hurricane Ian, and this is the experimental, the new version that would be coming out if Ian were to form this year. This is kind of the old graphic where you can see that look at all of Florida. It's pretty much not filled in because those inland warnings uh, were not showing up on the map. So it's a small but subtle change, and unfortunately, you're probably going to be seeing a fair few of those hurricane forecast cones over the coming season. This is the 2024 Hurricane season name list. Uh, it is shaping up to be a very active hurricane season. One of the reasons for that sea surface temperatures in the main development region are already at that threshold of 80 degrees or above for tropical storm development, and a good chunk of the Atlantic Ocean is experiencing warmer than normal sea surface temperatures. But we actually have to look to the Pacific Ocean for the key to what is likely going to be a very active hurricane season. The sea surface temperatures are very warm in what is called the El Nino 3.4 region. These warmer than normal sea surface temperatures indicate that an El Nino has formed. It's been ongoing for the past couple of months, but a big change as we move into the hurricane season. We are expecting a 78% chance of neutral conditions, meaning not an El Nino or La Nina, but right in the heart of hurricane season, August, September and October, it's a 74% chance of a La Nina. And typically whenever we see La Nina, Nina emerge during a hurricane season. That means less wind shear over the Atlantic Ocean, which typically means a greater frequency of tropical storms and hurricanes.